Hello, it's Dr. Hobson, and I thought I would read a few excerpts from Alice Walker's uh, essay, The Civil Rights Movement, What Good Was It? 1966-67 essay. She was 23 years old when she wrote this essay. I believe she's 76, 77 now. Um, this is uh, my collection. This, uh, you can see how worn it is. I've used this book for at least, I'd say, 25 years. Um, okay, so we're on page 121. Alice writes, uh, let's see, if knowledge of my condition is all the freedom I got, I get from a freedom movement, it is better than unawareness, forget, forgottenness, and hopelessness, the existence that is like the existence of a beast. Man only truly lives by knowing. Otherwise, he simply performs, copying the daily habits of others, but conceiving nothing of his creative possibilities as a man and accepting someone else's superiority as his own misery. She continues on page um, one, let's see. Yes, um, 125. Because the movement, because of the movement, because of an awakened faith in the newness and imagination of the human spirit, because of black and white together, for the first time in our history, in some human relationship, on and off TV, because of the beatings, the arrests, the hell of battle during the past years, I have fought harder for my life and for a chance to be myself, to be something more than a shadow or a number than I had ever done before in my life. Before, there has seemed to be no real reason for struggling beyond the effort for daily bread. Now, there was a chance at that other that Jesus meant when he said we could not live by bread alone. I have fought and kicked and fasted and prayed and cursed and cried myself to the point of existing. It has been like being born again, literally. Just knowing has meant everything to me. Knowing has pushed me out into the world, into college, into places, into people. Part of what existence means to me is knowing the difference between what I am now and what I was then. She's 23 writing this. It is being capable of looking after myself intellectually as well as financially. It is being able to tell when I am being wronged and by whom. It means being awake to protect myself and the ones I love. It means being a part of the world community and being alert to which part of it that I have joined and knowing how to change another part to another part. If that part does not suit me, to know is to exist, to exist. Alice Walker writes, is to, be is to be involved, to move about, to see the world with my own eyes. This, at least, the movement has given me. Yes? And then she concludes on, I'm going to take a sip. <laughs> my alma mater, PhD, UK. Okay, anyway. And then she concludes um, the essay. If the civil rights movement on page 128 is, quote, dead, and if it gave us nothing else, it gave us each other forever. It gave some of us bread, some of us shelter, some of us knowledge and pride, all of us comfort. It gave us our children, our husbands, our brothers, our fathers, as men reborn with a purpose for living. It broke the pattern of black servitude in this country, it shattered the phony promise of white soap operas that sucked away so many pitiful lives. It gave us history and men far greater than presidents. It gave us heroes, selfless men of courage and strength for our little boys and girls to follow. It gave us hope for tomorrow. It called us to life because we live it can never die. Alice Walker, 1967.